Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us here for the News at 5. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Heideck. So many people across our state are feeling the impact of the rising utility rates, specifically in that public benefit section of your bill. Today, lawmakers met at the Capitol to talk about the issue that's got everybody fired up. NBC Connecticut's Dave Peck has the very latest. It's very expensive the way the bill comes out at the end of the month, and it hurts. Utility prices continuing to cause pain throughout the state. Honestly, have to find myself trying to make payment arrangements, you know, to be able to afford it. Today, Senate and House Republicans calling on the governor. Pause in the special session now. To address the drastic increase in public benefits costs. I'm happy to talk to the leadership uh, about that. Uh, I have to hear if they have real, you know, recommendations that would make an immediate difference for uh, ratepayers. In the short term, Republicans urge the state to use leftover ARPA funds to help cover costs brought on by the four year long moratorium on shutoffs. We are looking at one time revenues to fix a one time problem. One could argue that we should have anticipated a, a fair share of this, but we didn't know the full measure until the utilities submitted their RAM adjustment request. And that wasn't all that long ago. But Eversource, as well as Democrats, have said the majority of the cost relates to a 2017 power purchase agreement with Millstone. That's 78% of that so-called public benefits charge. Many Republicans supported that deal, but now say the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority's decision to maintain low prices contributed to an eventual price shock. The cost was accumulated over two years because Pura has continued to deny our utility companies to recover in a timely fashion. I don't want this to be a blame game. I want this to be a solution game. So, you know, whatever, if there are good ideas on the table, let's talk about them. Now, again, this rate change, which Eversource says they can't profit from, started in July and is expected to last 10 months. Pura was unable to comment at this time. Reporting at the Capitol, Dave Peck, NBC Connecticut News.